Hey guys, we're back for our fourth episode on Days Gone. Previously, we discovered that O'Brien, the scientist that was in the same chopper than Sarah, is still alive. He's working on some secret plans for Nero, apparently. And we went to the old cemetery to get Leon's stash. Now we need to decide who to give it to. Crazy Willies. You guys remember? Let's hope it's less crowded than the last time we came here. Okay, let's get some fuel. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, wait for me, huh? Man, <laughs> I just wanted to get some fuel. Okay. Time for some business, I guess. Let's take the guy with the gun first. Alright, now we can finally get some fuel, I guess. Good. Ooh, shit. I see freaks. We keep going. We're gonna die out here. I know of a camp where it's safe. No, no, where? Peaceful Lake. Mark Copeland. It's safe there. Thank you so much. Man, there's one coming. <laughs> Stop talking. Name's Deacon. They know who I am. Okay, keep running, stay out of sight. This guy was just waiting for me to end my conversation. Uh, ooh, shit. How nice of him. Alright, left or right, baby? Ooh, it's just turning. Alright, let's go. Let's dance, baby. Okay, we're not too far now. I'm not sure that going at night is the best idea, to be honest. Okay, we're getting closer now. I see a camp there. I hear gunshots. I'm not sure if they're friends or not. So, let's be cautious. Ooh, those are not friends, right? Alright, I guess we've arrived. Hello. Open up, it's that drifter. <laughs> Where's Tucker? Alki. Okay. Oh, that's the camp I used to belong to. Tucker's camp. Back there. Nobody touches this bike or anything on it. I break your fingers. Let's not do like last time. Whatever, man. Everybody is armed here. Except these poor workers. Twenty-five feet solid rock. It'll take jackhammers to. I don't need a lecture, goddammit. I get it. <laughs> that voice. No, you don't. <laughs> but these people are hungry. Even if they had all their strength. It'll take them months to finish this job with picks and shovels. I don't give a shit. Ooh. Man, that old lady is not nice. We're all hungry. And I guess it's stuck her. But this job's gotta get done whether it takes all goddamn year. Rippers, this morning. One of my men spotted a large group of them coming over the pass. And no one stopped them. Tucker, you know we're already spread thin. Al, are they headed towards us? Yes or no? I don't know. Hello? Maybe he knows. <laughs> what the fuck are you oh. up to now, huh? What's this about, huh? Damn it, Alki. It's not his job to know. It's your goddamn job to know. I can't be at two places at one time. You're the one me here, running your dig? You want me out there in the shit? What are you looking at? Oh, I don't know, I'm just waiting for you to smarten the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Still waiting. Did you track down Leon? Good thing someone around here knows how to make things happen. I just gotta figure out who I'm gonna give this to. So, big decision here. We can either bring the drug stash to Tucker, so this camp, and as we could see, they are like a slave system with workers and people watching them with guns. Or we could also bring it to Copeland. And as you can see, if I bring it to Tucker, they say Alkai has weapons and they are better than mine. But if we bring it to Copeland, they have bike supplies and so on, so they can restore my piece of shit bike. <laughs> Since I need 
guns and i think tucker scam is more interesting even though they are slaves i know it's not the good thing i'm gonna choose to bring the drag stash to here to tucker scam we can't head north until i get better gear tucker it is you get my drugs from leon yeah yeah cope wanted me to sell to him but uh i know who my friends are huh, you got that right go see alki I heard Larson brought in a stash of shotguns and rifles. Told you. Maybe he's got something you can use. I need a good weapon. All right, now I can buy weapons. Okay. Well, I'll need more trust. Let's do some side missions for Hot Springs. <laughs> I gotta burn them out. I gotta make it safer to ride. All right, there's a nest nearby. But since we need some trust, let's burn the nest, right? Hello. A cave at night. Another micro recorder. One of these has been explained what the hell you guys are doing. What the hell is that thing? I don't know. Goddamn scientists. What do we do? What do we do? Shit, get trapped. Get back. We're trapped. Shit. There's no way out. Fire. Fire. Oh man, there were some actions in here. Oh, Jesus, what the hell was that? Let's just hope we don't have to find out. You guys hear that? It looks like trouble, right? Where is it? God damn, this has got to be close. <laughs> Holy shit. So these guys were supposed to be in that cave. There's another one. Time to burn. Time to burn it, and we need to run fucking fast. Still can't find the third nest. St. John, Tucker to Deacon St. John. We got a job for you. Ooh. Hey, Tucker. Okay, I'll stop by when I can. Deacon out. Holy shit. <laughs> Can you guys see a nest nearby? Cause I can't see shit. I smell it. Ugh, gotta be getting close. That's where you were. Okay. I'm just dead, man. I don't know how I survived, <laughs> but I did. Okay, in the meantime, while I was chased by this big horde, I got a mission from Tucker. So let's see what it's about. Drifter, scars all over his face, carries a tire iron, goes by the name of Limbo. Don't know him. <laughs> he came into King Limbo <laughs> to turn in some bounties, have a few drinks. Seems like he didn't leave until early this morning. Well, Tuck, I don't run security here, so why don't you just tell Al Kai about Come on. that? He beat a man, Deke, and a no, woman no, no, no. to death. Bowman and Hewitt. Her face was so smashed in you couldn't tell. I hear someone getting stop, beat up too. Stop. Are you gonna do something, Tucker? Right. Jesus. This asshole, Limbo. I'll handle it. Alright, let's do this mission. Let's locate Limbo. Damn it, sniper ambush. So we get more trust, so we get more weapons. Shit. Okay, where are you? You in that tree. Ah, uh, you feel that, huh? <laughs> Goddamn one shot, there we go. one kill. See the sniper. He said his face was scarred, so uh, please, what else can you tell me? Time to get sneaky. He wears a green coat. Looks like a goddamn leprechaun. <laughs> you <laughs> Limbo. Iron Deacon St. John. 
And I want it covered in what's left of the son of a bitch's face. Move to his side! He's I got him! <laughs> Alright, time to kill the big guy, and he's on top of that tower. Hey, catch! Blow his ass up. Uh -oh. Where's the rapper shot? <laughs> you gotta stop the ammo left. Oh shit. Shit. One, two, three more. Holy moly, what the fuck? Try to aim for the head. <laughs> that was funny. I shot just when he was about to throw it. Finally. All right, let's get back to Tucker's camp now. Find that son of a bitch. Yes, I did. Yeah, here's old Iron Tooth. Just like <laughs> you asked. Ah, uh, nice work. Deke, you're always the one person I could count on to get things done. Go see Alkai. I'll update your credits. All right, that's it for this fourth video. We got to clear a whole infestation zone without being detected by Big Horde. We were pretty lucky, in my opinion, and we could discover a new camp, Hot Springs, that is ruled by Tucker. Hopefully in the next video I have enough trust to get a good weapon. That's the major reason why I decided to give Leon's stash to Tucker. See you guys on the next episode!